Does the name Liam Hurtley mean anything to you? No, I don't know anyone by that name. Thank you, madam. A new suspect, but this one refuses to talk. This case is more interesting than I first imagined. I need to prepare a chemical agent that is capable of removing fresh ink. For this purpose, the chemicals from the flasks should be combined in a certain order to perform a chain reaction. First condition, all seven reagents should be used. Second condition, orange reagent should be the third one in the sequence after the blue reagent. Third condition, colorless reagent should be added after the orange reagent. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again.
No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again.
No, something isn't right. I need to start the reaction from the beginning again. A new suspect? But this one refuses to talk. This case is more interesting than I first imagined. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what were you doing at Woodman's Lee? Woodman's Lee? I've never been there. The second pair of boots that you had with you when you were arrested perfectly match the footprints found near the cabin where Peter Carey was murdered. Footprints? That's your proof? How many men have boots like mine? That doesn't make me a murderer. So tell me, Mr. Hurtley, what did you hide? Hide? What are you talking about? I did as you asked and hid them well. Should I continue? My letter? But the ink? That's impossible. A touch of chemistry, nothing special. Well, you're a smart one. But it's nothing. If you want to know, I was referring to my tools. It was to do with my work, see? I will check that, Mr. Hurtley. Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Now that your presence at Woodman's Lee has been proven, would you care to explain it? I don't remember. What would I be doing there anyway? Because you are the gardener at Woodman's Lee. I'm not. How did you... I observed your hands. They told me that you work with the earth. 
Small fragments of plants snagged to your trousers indicate that you were mowing very recently. But the most obvious clue presented itself in the bird embroidered on your handkerchief. A crested tit, if I'm not mistaken. All right, all right, you got me. Yes, I am a gardener, and I went there to get my tools. That's all for now. Hurtley's stories are false leads, but now I know one thing for certain. I must examine the site where the garden tools are kept at Woodman's Lee. are the suspect's belongings. I wonder if these are connected. No, that's not it. 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 Now we have the proof that Nelligan's papers were indeed here. It seems that they have vanished, however.
locked. Locked. Madam, we have information that the valuable stolen papers are hidden amongst the garden tools here at Woodman's Lee. We need to find them. Oh my. Our tools are kept inside the shed that's right behind me. Here is the key to open it. Thank you, madam. Let's see what could be hidden here. Let us see what is in this box. bundle of letters in a woman's hand with the Carey family monogram. Hurtley and Mrs. Carey were in a relationship. That is interesting. Madam, I am aware of your affinity with Liam Hurtley. Oh, what are you talking about? Hmm. 
Mrs. Carey, we found your letters. My letters? I asked Liam to return them to me. I wanted to burn them. Why did Mr. Hurtley put them inside the garden shed? I... I don't know. I wanted them back, but I couldn't see him, not after... what happened. Well, here they are. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Liam, how could he? I... after what he has done. You believe that he killed your husband? No, I do not know. I do not know. Leave me alone, please. Thank you, madam. I wonder if Wiggins has managed to find any sailors. Mr. Holmes, we found the sailors from that list you gave us. Well done, Wiggins. Let me see. This, this is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interesting. Let us review the other sailors now. This is interest. This is in. This is interesting. This is interesting. This is. This man is a harpooner and his initials are PC, the same initials that were found on the tobacco pouch. Wiggins, could you gather some information on one of the sailors that you found? His name is Patrick Cairns. We found Patrick Cairns. Good job, Wiggins. Where is he? He lives in a small furnished dump of a room, but he's always at the Sea Witch pub, where he does arm wrestles for money and drinks. Excellent. Here is your reward. Two guineas. Thank you, sir.
If I wish to speak to Cairns without alarming him, I had better dress as a sailor. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Now I can approach Cairns and see if he recognizes the pouch. Hello there. Are you Cairns? What do you want? Well, you've heard all about the gambling on arm wrestling here. You seem like the likely sort, and I'm up for it. I start at ten shillings. Suits me.
You were lucky. I wasn't focused. Let's go again. I'm ready to try again. Fine. If you want me to take all your money, no problem with that. Well, good for you, I reckon. You're stronger than you look. Here's your ten shillings. I'd like to buy you a drink. Good winner as well. That's good. Let's have a drink. You're a good type. Seems you've managed to settle down in life. You've got money, eh? Not all that much. Oh, well, at least you're not as poor as me. Why do you say poor? You're not working. I'm a harpooner. But you see, the whalers are rare. They don't pay much. So, as a result, I find myself arm wrestling to pay for my drink. A harpooner. Interesting. You've had a lot of adventures, I bet. Ah, of course. It's been a dozen years since I've sailed. I've seen everything. Bold Wallace, damn Black Peter, Great Roger. We sailed to the Cape of Good Hope. Black Peter, you say? I've heard rumors about that one. He was the worst of them all. He was a liar. And violent too. Swinging those fists of his around. He was a tyrant. And not much of a captain. At least, not as good as Great Roger. I see. Yes. I was told terrible tales about Black Peter. But you ain't heard the worst. Tell me, and let's have another drink. It was in 1883 that it happened. The August of that year, Peter Carey was captain of the Sea Unicorn, and I was a spare harpooner. We were coming out of the ice pack on our way home. One evening, we saw a little craft that had been blown north. There was only one man on her, and he wasn't a sailor. The crew must have thought that she'd foundered, and they made for the Norwegian coast in the dinghy. I guess they all drowned. 
We took the man on board. And who was he? I don't know. During the crossing, he and the skipper enjoyed some long talks. His baggage was just a tin box. That's strange enough. Aye. Even stranger was that on the second night, he disappeared. Nobody knew what happened to him. And of course, nobody could ask Black Peter about it. You know what happened, don't you? I do. I saw the skipper tie his heels and push him over the rail in the middle of my watch on that dark night, two days before we sighted the Shetland lights. Black Peter's a murderer. Aye. Those that know him wouldn't be surprised to hear it. But all this must stay between us. All right? Of course. <laughs>